We are just one week away from the biggest annual giving campaign in the Roanoke Valley. It's called Roanoke Valley Gives Day, and it's next week, Wednesday, March 14th. And here to tell us about the fundraising campaign and the impact, we have Michelle Everly from the Foundation for Roanoke Valley. Welcome to the show. Great to have Thanks you. Thanks for having me, yeah, Natalie. Absolutely. All right, let's first off talk about the Foundation for Roanoke Valley. What is it? Sure. Well, Foundation for Roanoke Valley is the region's community foundation. Uh, we are going into our 30th year now, and our mission is simple. Uh, we enable people who love their community to easily give back. And so we work with families and individuals to set up charitable legacies, um, whether to support nonprofits or for scholarships for local high school students. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so the big one, the big event this year, yes. of course, <laughs> is the Roanoke Valley Gives. Yes. Tell us about it and how it all started. Sure. Uh, I think the planning stages began about four years ago. Um, we but was it, we're in touch with a lot of our community foundations across the United States, talked with them, you know, could, could Rona really pull off a gift day? Yeah. And so we decided to just jump right in and go for it. And we started three years, so we're, we're going our third year now. So it was successful in other locations, yes. right? Yes, yes. Okay, and then when you launched it three years ago, what was the response? Very overwhelming. Um, we had a goal of $150,000, uh -huh. um, kept it simple, and we completely blew that away and doubled that, over doubled wow. that, um, raised over $366,000. Um, last year, our goal was $500,000, and we raised over $700,000. That's amazing. And let's talk a little bit about why this is so important to our mm -hmm. community. One of the things we constantly hear uh, from nonprofits, a um, couple things. One, how do they market their organization? How do they get people to know about yeah. what they do and the great work they do in the community? And two, raising unrestricted money. And so, Roanoke Valley Gives Day is a great opportunity for those organizations to get their story out. People who may not even know who they are, they learn about what they do. Um, and then also come together as a community to raise money uh, for the work they do. Yeah, it's amazing to me that like a one day mm -hmm. giving campaign would be this successful. Because mm -hmm. there are so many, or how many organizations are vying for money? We have close to 170 organizations wow. this year. Wow. Um, trying to raise money and our goal this year is 800,000 so we upped it a little bit. Um, we also increased the number of organizations that are participating and so I, I, I'm excited about it. I can't wait to see what we do next week and, and, and I, I really got to say the just the amount of support we've received from the corporate community, the sponsors that we have, um, that, we've, that we raise money for incentive prizes okay. um, to be given out that, that during that day and mm -hmm. also for our leaderboards. And, and Poe and Cronk Real Estate Group, they've been our platinum partner each year, um, third year doing it. And so we're really excited to have them back this year as a sponsor. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell people how they can give. Okay. Um, it's rvgives.givebig.org. Mm -hmm. um, you can donate now. You can well. You can actually pre-schedule your gift now to process on March 14th. Mm -hmm. um, but the actual give day runs from midnight on the 14th until 11:59 that evening. Yeah, and and you can share. You know, you can yes. go ahead and share away on your social media accounts, mm -hmm. and you know, really get behind some of those local nonprofits that you really believe in. Certainly, that's the best thing we can do right now. Just get the word out yeah. about it and get the community involved. Thank yes. you.